I am liking this spread. Well, Tooney, spread is a great choice of words because today we're talking about two iconic spreads that were first introduced to the world in 1923. PB&J, baby! Yeah, you nailed it, Tooney. We're gonna kick this classic combo up a notch by making grilled peanut butter and jelly. You heard me right, grilled peanut butter and jelly. But first, let's get our bread nice and buttered on one side. Wow, hot PB&J, huh? That's interesting. Well, here's something else that's pretty interesting, Tooney. In 1923, a fellow in the food industry by the name of Joseph Rosefield perfected a new process of making peanut butter. His method prevented peanut butter from separating and becoming, you know, kind of oily. Oh yeah, nobody likes that layer of oil. And this new peanut butter could stay fresh on the shelf for a year, Tooney, a full year. The first brand made with this new method was Peter Pan. Peter Pan. Okay, all right, now, don't hold back with that jelly. Don't you worry, Tooney. I never hold back when it comes to jelly trivia. Uh, I meant the sandwich, Bill. <laughs> right, well, grape jelly actually dates back to World War I, Tooney. A new grape jam called Grapeolade was sent to US soldiers, and the GIs loved it so much that they had a hankering for more right after the war. Walters introduced its grape jelly in 1923. Thank you for your service, grape jelly. So you see, Tooney, it wasn't until 1923 that this common PB&J sandwich could have been made. Wow. Now we're grilling this up, just like you would a grilled cheese sandwich. Watch this, Tooney. Okay. And there you have it, grilled PB&J. It's ooey, it's gooey, and most of all, it's delicious. Uh, actually, most of all, it's mine. <laughs>